how to connect the power button, the reset button, the busy hard drive LED, and in this case even the speaker to the mainboard. The front panel wires can be confusing, so I'll show you how. We have three computers here. This one, this one over here, and this even older one. Where is it even? Where is that stuff? Oh boy, down here under the SATA cables. Yep, we're gonna disconnect all these and connect them again just so you see how to do it. We got the speaker and we got the front LEDs and power button and reset button connectors. You can identify them by the text usually. These ones have labels like HDD LED, reset, SW, switch, power LEDs and power switch. So the question is, can we figure out where to put what just by looking at this, uh, at the colors there? Well, I don't know about you, but I certainly uh, can't. This is not enough for me. So I'm just going to use a manual to find where to plug them. And you start with the bottom row so you can see the labels and then you continue with the top row. So what I do is I find out the name of the motherboard. In this case, it's the Gigabyte GA-Z77D3H. I use that term, just GA-Z77-D3H combined with the word manual and Google that and I pick the first result on the official Gigabyte website. And that leads me to a PDF file where on one of the first, let's say 10 pages, I will see a map of this mainboard. And by searching specifically for front panel header or headers, I can find an even more specific diagram which shows where to connect what. We are going to start at the bottom left with the hard drive activity LED. Now what side do we plug it in? With the label up or the label down? We know the plus or positive side has to be on the left and the negative or minus side has to be on the right. The plug does not have a plus and minus label in this case, but one of the cables has a white line. The white line is the negative side. Also actually on most of these plugs on the back side there is a triangle which marks the positive side. Instead of getting the manual, by the way, I could have used the onboard minimap, but I didn't notice that one during recording. So if you take a photo with your smartphone, you can actually use this as a reference while installing. Nice. So I just slide it on these two pins. Next is the reset switch. For the reset switch, just like the power switch, plus and minus doesn't matter, because it just conducts electricity, it doesn't matter which direction. But if there are markings, why not follow them? I choose to just make the text label also point upwards. In this case, the power LEDs are on separate plugs, one for the positive and another for the negative. That one goes at the top of a reset switch and the speaker goes all over here. But really, just get the manual, just figure out the name of the mainboard. This one is the Gigabyte G8Z77-D3H. I can just Google that, add manual and I'll find a PDF in no time. And that'll have a minimap that shows me what goes where. Anyways, let's continue to the next computer. There is a minimap for USB plugs, but we want uh, the front panel one. That one's over here. Power LED, power switch, HDD LED, reset switch. So since we have this information, we're just going to go bottom to top. HDD LED, it has the label. Red is plus, so it goes this way. Next is the reset. Well, this one doesn't matter which is which. Next, the power, but it, again, it doesn't matter, so we're just going to turn it around so we can see the label. And then power LED, plus has to go to plus this time. So this is how we do it. That's all there's to it in this machine. Now this motherboard also has a, a little map on it. And for whatever reason we only have HDD LED, reset switch and power switch here. The color coding is not much help to be honest, so let's just follow the map. I really like how this diagram actively does not care whether you plug in the reset and power switches this or the other way. Reset switch done and finally the power switch. And there is no power LED cable simply because the case does not have a power LED. All done of the few that we have here. 
So this is it. This is how you do it on different systems. It's pretty much the same procedure. Find the minimap, find the pins, find your cables, plug them in, don't break the cables, make sure the LEDs are the wrong way, and you can easily test it. If the lights don't blink, you will have to flip them. I hope this helped. Make sure to subscribe to support this channel, have fun assembling your computer, and see you next time. Until then, ciao!